Right, so in the walk, it's a good job I've come over now because uh, they're shutting the path off for the whole of the winter here to deal with um, the ash dieback. So they're not doing any pruning of the paths. Um, I just got in front of a couple because I didn't want to get. So all I'm gonna, what we're going to notice now is it's going to be very, very overgrown unless you went that way. But I'm going to, I'm going to carry on this way. Um, yeah. So this was, this will be left. They're not going to do any pruning for the public. Um, I don't mind, I'll come this way anyway. I'm just going to video it. So it's in a way that it's for the winter. So obviously it's still open at the moment. I expect they'll put a gate, a metal fencing up. They did a bit of cutting back last year. And um, they did a bit of cutting back last year. So it's a good job I've actually come over then, isn't it? Because when I come here next spring, when the bluebells and the wild garlic are here, hopefully they still will be, this place could be cleared of a lot of the trees here. So what I'm what I'm fearing now is like a jungle. It's uh, it's not usually left to get quite so overgrown but if they're not I mean, discouraging people from coming here I mean I suppose in a way you could spread the ash dye back if the pollen gets on your shoes or something I don't know how it works with trees but that was very jungly there was a couple there an older couple I spent there if they know the place, they'll they'll do the hill route. They'll do the hill route. But I'm just passing through today, and if you think about it, this is Longwood. It's very beautiful. This is its peak for summer growth. Um, it's to me, it's beautiful in May when the blue when the bluebells and the wild garlic are in full swing but at the moment this wood is looking magnificent you never see this wood looking like this most of the year most of the year it actually looks dead i got to stop and take a picture of this scene actually because i got a feeling there must be some government policy you know because they're using ash dieback to attack a Whirlberry Woods. Maybe there's a shortage of wood or something because of the um, climate things and they're wanting to stop people cutting forests and woods down. Maybe people are taking advantage and are going to stockpile the wood. <sighs> it's possible, isn't it? These people have long-term plans. Um, them that rule us. They get, they know everything. They don't tell us half of it, if not more than we tell us nothing really. But we aren't stupid, are we? But look at this. I've this is really, to be quite honest, I'm glad I've come over. I really am because this is beautiful. A lot of these are ash. A lot of these will be gone, everyone. Okay, they're going to be gone. They're going to be pulled down. These trees. I don't know what will happen to this area after that. Is it progress? Is it good? I mean, they look pretty good to me. I mean, they always look dead in the winter. They do. This looks awful and grey and miserable. Well, I'm, I'm glad I've come over here to record you, trees, while you're in full bloom. I really am, because you look really happy. You do look really happy. I'm very glad I've come this way up. I'm glad, really. I was in the way. I was. Someone said she'd got to go to Longwood, 
It's going to be closed all winter. You ain't going to be able to pop through here. All right, just going to take some more photos. I'll join these videos up. Yeah. A cathedral. That's what uh, woods often are. Tall pillars of nature going up into the sky. Look at them. Right. I'm carrying on, folks. It's nice in here. It's nice and cool. That scene there, low. Look at it glistening. Yeah, that looked a fairly new sign actually. It was very clean. They, like I said, they did a bit last autumn. What it was, I, I still came through here, but the men weren't actually working on that. They'd finished, and I was, I came through. I saw quite a few trees that had been pruned, and. Uh, I think they not, weren't supposed to come through then, but I didn't realise it. But they put a definite sign on there. But I don't know if the dark bark of these trees is indicative of the disease. Some of them have got like a black, I don't know, it's a lichen even, or a, some sort of, sort of black. If I zoom in. They're sort of black, blackish. I don't know. I don't even know. I keep forgetting to get the picture of the ash. I've got a feeling these are ash. God, you know, my head's gone really heavy. It's a weird feeling. I, my ears need syringing, actually. Ah, oh, there's somebody coming. How many are there? Somebody coming this way. I'll turn off in a sec. Do it now. Little family. Mum, dad, two kids, boy and a girl. <sighs> Enjoying the wood while they can. <sighs> yeah, while well you can. I mean, it, well, I suppose the trees, they might cut down some that look unstable. But say that one there, that isn't a ash. It's a mature tree where they're well, they going to leave these sort of thing. You know? Are they going to leave them? So, I think I would have been out here. I skirted Longwood last time. When I came off the hills, I didn't come through. I went along the field. So, it's possible this is probably the third time I've been out. Not that many times, but... Okay, look at that. I wonder if they still use that hole. They're probably not. <sighs> yeah, like I say, it's very jungly today. Because the grasses have all reached their peak. It might even be less jungly, actually, because um, stuff is fading as well. My mum taught me to be independent. I'm free. I had a right. I had a choice. You only have a choice, though, don't we? I mean, she knew this as well, of course. By the power of others. She was a socialist. She believed in equality. She had loads of hang-ups because of the culture. 
you know, it's, women weren't liberated in so many ways, like they aren't now in lots of places. The culture often ties their hands behind their backs. Yes. Oh, there's a little way up to the top of the hill there. There's a little hill up there. It's a big tree. And of course the place I was going to think about exploring this winter was up there, but I'll have to wait now. Obviously if they come around and do a bit of clearing, it might be easier to get up there. I wonder it's going to affect the birds, because obviously the nesting season will be over. So they would have taken that to account. They would know, they would have done, I would have thought they would have done a proper survey here for bats and other wildlife. I would have thought they would have here. Oh God, look at it there. But like I said, they do look ill, some of these trees. So maybe that black stuff on their bark is that they've got that die back. Could be. Well, they're going to scare the deer off this winter then. They probably already know and have gone. <sighs> Poor old deer. Chased and hounded and hunted. I can hear the hear lots of different noises. Hear it? That's a raven. Ravens have got an echo. There's something to do with their in their mouths and their throat. They don't go call. They've got this echo noise. Like ow! Ow! Like that. God, this is so overgrown, it's unbelievable. Thickness. Is that the path coming? No, it can't be not there. Must be further on, Shell. Like I said, it would die back anyway. You come here a month's time, a lot of this would die back. It's a big old tree, that one. I hope you're still going to be here. This is a record in time I'm doing, folks, for this wood. And there's a robin, and he's saying, Well, I'm hi, Sheila. I wonder what's going to happen here. Do you know? They're moving all the trees? <laughs>